You know, when I woke up today, I knew it was going to be a semi-busy day until I look at the back window of my car, until I looked at the front window of uh, <coughs> of my house and saw two inches of snow. I knew the track would look like canceled at Mohawk last night. You know, I'm on my way home from probably one of the most demoralizing days I've had in a while, six and a half hours to Miami Valley to make a break and drive six and a half hours back. Now, I'm just waiting for Patrick maybe to pick up my night. It never dawned on me the races were even in jeopardy of being canceled. Yes, when I drove down to Miami Valley, I drove through a snowstorm in Detroit. I guess it's logical to think it was coming here, but it never dawned on me that they would even remotely consider canceling the races. <clears throat> Until I got a text from James saying the races are going to be canceled. I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't believe it. Anyway, uh, a bad day yesterday. Um, I don't want to dwell, so we're going to turn that page. So I get up this morning, snow. Probably can't train the babies, which is even more frustrating because I had to go to Miami Valley Wednesday. Then I said, okay, uh, we got to qualify eyes at 10. She has to go to Northfield right now. She doesn't have to qualify to race, but she has to qualify to race in the stake race on May the 1st. You got to go faster than two, three and a half, which sounds easy. But when you're racing at London and Flamborough, it's not always that easy, right? In those maiden races. She's not ready to trot 56, 57. Maybe she never will. She should be able to trot 59, though, I think. Um, so it dawns on me that they have to qualify. Isa 10 has to qualify. 1-2 Skip a few has to qualify. Gemstone Ruby Rose can't make a break or she's in trouble. And she has to go faster than 2-3 also. She went 2-3 and 1. See, the weird thing about Ohio is they don't give allowance. So, say for instance you go to Mohawk and you qualify in 2-2 two, two in the mud. The tra they give the track 2 seconds. That's 2 minutes. They don't do that in Ohio. Mud, rain, snow, sleet, wind, they don't care. No allowance. Which sounds silly. And it is. But it is what it is. So, um... And, and I don't I don't really know the, the thought process behind that. I'm, I'm not really sure. Seems odd. Uh, but it is what it lies in. It is what it is. So, um, to go over and qualify Thursday, it's going to pour rain. <laughs> so, Mother Nature ruined today. And potentially ruined Thursday. And even potentially ruined May 1st because uh, the bad track at Northfield Park. Remember, are they going to go faster than 2-3 in the mud? Probably not. No. So what are our options? I don't want to re-qualify Bomb Hugger in the pouring rain and the mud. I don't want to do that. You know, the only horse that probably should go if the track's decent is Purple Aura. I want to get a mile in 2-1 into her. If it's fit, but again, if it's not fit, don't go. I'll take her up to the Meadows. Qualify her at the Meadows on Tuesday if that's how it is. But, um, you know, don't, don't qualify her in the mud, I guess. Uh, so what are our options? What can I do? I'm sitting there, tired, just woke up. Now the reality of the situation is sinking in. No babies are training today. I'm not going to be here tomorrow. That's two things that are bad. Thursday is looking very bad for Northfield Park. So I'm to drive to Miami Valley, race those two horses, go up to Northfield Park, watch it pour rain all morning, qualify horses in the pouring rain, and then come back home. Do I have any options? That would be helpful. What about the Meadows? Picked up the condition sheet for the Meadows. Now there's a two, which let's be honest, they're gonna race in Sire State races. They're gonna race in, in the Buckeye. Surely to Jesus they can do in the now there's a two. Compete, start coming forward. Um, I'm just reading texts. They never end either. Um, so what are our options? I put, uh, I called Tim. One, two, skip a few. Eyes at 10 and Bombhugger are all going to race Friday at the Meadows. Now, Bombhugger was the trickiest. I wanted to look at the past performance lines of the races in, in that class. Now, where's a four, Phillies and Mares, five, something like that. She's going to do very well in there. Very well. Treated as a qualifier, but I suspect she'll do very well. I would suspect a paid qualifier. Um, 
the other two fillies, as I said, they need to get faster lines. Qualifying Thursday isn't going to do it. I guess I could have kept eyes at 10 home and qualified her Friday at Mohawk. I opted to race her. So she's going to the Meadows. One, two, skip a few is going to the Meadows. Bomb Hugger is going to the Meadows. Walk on the Moon is going to be racing Friday at the Meadows. I'm going to the Meadows Friday. It doesn't end there. I need, there's babies getting ready for the open house day. Today was kind of an important training day. A slower day, but there were some horses I wanted to get a look at. So, um, the open house on May the 8th. May the 7th is Slim Jimmy's next sire stakes. I can't be there for the 7th. I can't not be here for the 7th. And quite frankly, if there's ever a trotter on planet Earth that anybody with an ounce of ability should be able to drive, it's Slim Jimmy. So, I pick up the entry sheet. Tony Hull doesn't have a drive in Slim Jimmy's race and does not have a drive in Procrastinator's race. If I book off tomorrow, I can stay here and train the babies, where I'm probably more needed when it comes to those two horses. Stay here and drive and, and drive the babies here. Let Tony Hall drive at uh, Miami Valley because we do need a driver for Slim Jimmy on the 7th. Getting to know him in the hack and elimination uh, would be a good way to do it. He gets along really well with him. I don't really have to go to the hack and final either. So Tony Hall, I just talked to Jason. You know, a ton of changes today. I'm trying to maneuver horses around. I'm talking to the shipping company. I'm talking to Jason. I'm talking to Tim. Talking to myself. It's not even 9.15 in the morning and I'm already losing my mind. So, eyes of 10 left today. She's going to Jason's. Eyes of 10, one, two, skip a few. Bomb hugger will be going to Tim's barn to race on Friday. All three of them will race on Friday. Walk on the Moon will be in to go Friday. Four horses of the stable will be in to go Friday at the Meadows. I have to go down early because it just dawned on me as I'm talking out loud right now. My B1 has expired. So I need to get a B1 at the border because you can't get a B1. You can't get a driver's license in the state of Pennsylvania without a B1. So I have to go and get that at the border on, on Friday also. Man, oh man. Um, what else? Thursday, we may still have to qualify Purple Aura. Del Cash, Del Breeze, depending on how the weather is. If it's just raining and the track's okay, they can go. If the track's not good, they can't. I guess we could take Purple Aura. We could wait a week. But we're getting close. We're getting close. May 4th is a sire stakes for Purple Aura. And make no mistake, Purple Aura and Sweet on Pete, you know, we'll see how they are over the next week. It wouldn't bother me to start them in the Buckeye anyway. One of our clients, Johnny, had said that to me yesterday, and it, it didn't really, to be honest, I don't really think it dawned on me to start them in the Buckeye. It's five divisions now, I believe, this year. Start them off on the right foot. It never dawned on me. That never popped into my head. And then I got thinking about it on the way home. I, I Immediately, I dismissed it and said, no, no, these are Sire Stake Phillies. Yeah, they are. Yeah. Doesn't mean they have to start in the Sire Stake, so. And the closer I got to home, then when I landed on my pillow at 1.18 in the morning, I was a little more flexible and amenable to the idea. So regardless if it's May 1st or May 4th, got to get them qualified. So I think it's either Thursday for Purple Aura or back Tuesday at the Meadows. I think th those are only two options, I believe. Right now, I mean, you can wait the extra two days. It's what, the 18th, 19th today, uh, 21st. No, it's too close. So we're running into timelines now. Now I'm trying to juggle the New Jersey horses too. Yes, they'll race Monday. But after talking to my brother Mark, maybe they should go to the New Jersey Sires. I was kind of leaning towards not sending them, to be quite frank. But now, it's looking like they should. I know the week after that is a PA All-Stars for uh, Taiwan On. I'm going to see where that is. I think it's Philadelphia. Poconos, I'm not sure. Some more homework for when I finish this video. So as you can see, the a lot of spinning plates. A lot of balls in the air here today. A lot going on. I haven't even left my driveway yet. I'm uh, going to get out of the barn, see how the horses are, talk to everybody. Tell everybody we will train tomorrow. Looks like it's going to be a better day tomorrow. Give the track a day. It's not really going to dry. It might dry up a little bit. It's pretty hard to drive in the snow everywhere. 
Um, so not the greatest week weather-wise, and not the greatest start to the steak season with with uh, the break yesterday from from our girl sweet on Pete. It's easily explainable, but nevertheless, no less frustrating. Um, anyway, as I said, I'm gonna put that behind us and move forward. Uh, so lots going on, lots to do as of right now. Uh, and as far as the licensing, we'll, we'll work that out. Don't, don't worry about that just now. Um, as of right now, eyes of 10, one, two, skip a few walk on the moon and bomb hugger will all race Thursday, Friday morning, Friday afternoon at the meadows. I think they were starting Friday night too. At some point, I hope it's not this Friday. That would suck. Anyway, that's where we're at right now. Uh, you guys are completely up to date. As far as what our plans are, uh, I plan on racing uh, one two, uh, God. Uh, Blue Bayou Dio, now where's the two, unbeatable Kemp, now where's the three on Monday. Gotta take this, it's Harry. I'll talk to you all very soon. Hope you're having a good day. Take care.